Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Natan Zak from his selected poems, The Static Element, which was translated by Peter Everwine and Shulamet Yasni Starkman, published by Athenium in 1982. Uh, the poem I'm going to read is the last poem in the collection and is entitled The Countries We Live In. The countries we live in are ambiguous and extend in different directions far off into the vistas beneath the balcony. These flickering lights are also typical lights, landscapes, elements, their end to go on, their end to go out. The sun also rises, and the sun goes down, following its path to the sea through the narrow corridor set aside for it. From east to the uttermost end of west, there is no new shadow, and the order of things is good. Also, there is no other order. Here is tranquility and peace at day's end for a tired body and a spirit sick of itself, rebellious. This is also true. And a bird filling with blood is a falling bird, a rising bird, better than these, a small bird in the hand. Look how soft it's down, a blackbird, its color lovely to behold, and the other two have flown. Um, and that was Natan Zak, as translated by Peter Everwine and Shulamet Yasni Starkman. Um, from the Static Element Selected Poems, um, published by Athenium in 1982. If you enjoyed this reading of this translation and of the original poem, well, I didn't read the original poem, which I don't have access to, but um, if you enjoyed this translation and my reading of it, uh, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet, Natan Zak, as well as more information about the translator, translators, um, Peter Everwine and Shulamet Yasni Starkman. Um, and uh, in general, I, I, hope, uh, I hope you're enjoying this series and continue to enjoy my reading of these different poems. And uh, if you yourself have any suggestions for poets or poems that I can tackle on this series, please do feel free to uh, comment below or reach out to me privately um, by email. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, and if you have a book coming out, feel free to reach out to me and let me know, and uh, perhaps we can figure out a way that I can feature it on the series as well. So, um, I guess that's about it for this week. So, or not this, well, it is, this is the Sunday, uh, Sunday episode. So this is, um, the beginning of a new week, the end of one other week, um, and we are midway through August. And I hope, uh... Wherever you are and whatever is happening in your life, you're finding joy in art and creation and that you're having a conversation with yourself and others about beauty, about this existence that we're in, um, whether you are in uh, traveling through a period of shadow or if you are in the light or somewhere in between. Um, I hope you find peace and joy in your connection with the words and the imaginations of others um, and find beauty um, each step along the way and perhaps a little bit of hope and a little bit of perspective. Um, I'm grateful for what literature brings to us. I'm grateful for technology and its ability to connect us. And I hope in some small way that this uh, provides you inspiration and desire to to step forward and, and be more engaged in your own reading and creative work um, in some small way. Hopefully, it's doing the same thing for me. Um, so until next time, take care and stay safe and well and be engaged in whatever you're doing. And I'll be back again with more poetry and more readings soon enough. Till then, take care and goodbye.